Hi, this is Rick Rise from HighDefColor.com. Today we're going to talk about one of the greatest sharpening techniques to take your photographs from a good photograph to a great photograph. Notice the transition there. Uh, this will demonstrate how to take a great photo and make it into a true high definition color print when it's printed on press. All right, let's get started here. Uh, as you can see, I am working in the LAB color space right now. You can work in RGB and get the same results. I prefer using lab. Um, just keep in mind, you want to convert to CMYK at the very last moment. So always work in RGB or LAB. All right, first thing started, we're going to, uh, we're going to do a select all. And we're going to copy. And we're going to create a new alpha channel here. And we're going to paste our document, I should say our image, into our new alpha channel. Deselect that. And we're going to go to, uh, to the filter, stylize, and click the find edges. Now, what find edges is going to do, it's going to look at all the sharp, contrasty points in the image and basically highlight those and kind of create a line drawing for you. From here, we're going to go into our curves, which is our command M, and we're going to alter this channel. First thing you want to do, in a nutshell, what's happening here? We're going to be sharpening the darkened areas. The white areas will not be sharpened, so we're going to maintain our smooth, uh, crystal clear, creamy midtones and not create any noise in there from excessive sharpening. First thing, you want to grab our shadow end of our curve and we want to bring this over all the way up to 50 percent. At the same time you want to take our highlight end of our curve and bring this up to about 20 percent or so. You can see right now we've created a much higher contrast now in this line drawing and again just to make another adjustment here we want to make our black areas a little wider as, as possible so Again, we're going to add some more density to that black and kick it up. You can see we're almost uh, intersecting each other. At this point, we're going to click OK. And we're going to go into Filter, and we want to create a Gaussian blur on this image. What the blur is going to do, it's going to spread the black areas to create a, a more of a, a subtle transition between the smooth areas into the sharpened areas. So select Gaussian blur. And want to use um, anything, uh, I prefer to use two and a half pixels. That seems to work best for me. So I select uh, 2.5 pixels, click OK. Now back to curves again. You can see we've kind of softened up the image. Now what we want to do, we'll go back to curves. We want to harden up that edge a little more. So we're going to bring our shadow end of our curve all the way up to the 50% again. You can see how much darker we made that. So we're going to get more sharpening in that area. And again, our white areas here, there's no information in there, so those will not be affected by the, sharp, the sharpening filter. Click OK. At this point, we're going to go back to our full color image, and we're going to go into the Select and Load Selection. And you're going to notice here, we're going to select our alpha channel that we created and click OK. Now that selection is brought into place, so we're simply going to hide the selection just to save on our eyeballs there. And now we're going to actually do our sharpening. So again, the selection is going to just isolate the areas that we want to sharpen. Go into Filter, Sharpen, and I'm a huge fan of Unsharp Mask. It goes back to the old days of running the old uh, color drum scanners. And at this point, I'm going to basically just play around with the amount. Now the amount is how much the adjoining pixels are affected. Uh, I like to go real high on this number, anywhere between 150 and 200. For this uh, tutorial, I'm going to select 200. Uh, it's, a, it's a high number, but keep in mind, we're only affecting those images in the selection itself. The radius you want to keep that uh, anywhere between uh, a half a pixel to one to one and a half. If you go any thicker, you'll notice what happens. You create a severe halo effect around your images, which is, if you're looking for an artistic uh, point of view, you may want to do that. But I would 
would not ever recommend doing that. So we're going to stick to one pixel. And as far as our threshold, our threshold determines which, pi which pixels are sharpened, which are not. A higher threshold value means that uh, there has to be a huge contrast difference between pixels until they're affected. Since we have our selection, it, this is kind of a moot point, so it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to stick with a threshold of zero. And um, you can see as I move through the image and click on and off, you'll notice that there is a great deal of sharpening happening uh, in the contrast areas, but look at the midtone areas. They're perfectly clean and not affected at all. Just an incredible, cool little tool to, uh, to utilize to create dynamic looking photographs. So I click OK and we are done. At this point, we just go ahead and uh, save our image. And just to show you up close, we'll zoom in here, and uh, and you can see the difference between the two. I just go right here, turn it on, and turn it back off again, and turn it back on, and just an awesome looking sharpening job. Okay, um, thanks for tuning in. Look back for more tutorials in the future. Take care.